<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey introduction that yeah, was oh. that introduction was for the the visual listeners. Yeah, vis- sorry. Visual watchers, mm-hmm. audio listeners, they get nothing from you today. Audio but, listeners, howdy, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, this is another Forehead Fables episode. <laughs> this is a episode. Yes. Yeah, this and one's huge. No, I've been uh been having a vicious back and forth with these blanket manufacturers for the past week. Oh yeah, let's get into some blanket business. Yeah, since right the off last the episode, there was some people like, "Oh, when's that going live?" God, I would fucking why I want to know too. All right, these people were so certain we're gonna have your blankets there in a certain amount of time. This is like. 50 fucking boxes of blankets. This is like three pallets worth of blankets. It's an incredible amount of money in blankets. Too. It's twenty thousand yeah. dollars worth of blankets. I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna fucking Yeah. They're gonna shoot I'm not gonna it. Yeah. yeah. And, this the, is and, life or death. And yeah. I was like, it is kind of an I've never done an amount of money for anything that big ever, except for like buying a house. Yeah. So I'm a little bit scared. I contact the guy and he goes, I don't know where your blankets are. What? <laughs> You don't know where my blankets are? Because the tracking information has indicated that they don't have the blankets either. So, uh, and they're not in transit. I'm not like saying they're they're like in a truck somewhere. He's like, I, don't know. I went back there and some of them are here, but I don't know where the other ones are. I'm like, what do you mean you Got fucking lost my blanket? Pretty bad moth problem. Yeah. Facility. Been, he's like, Juan, let me ask the one lady that stitches on stuff. She, she doesn't know where they are either. Oh my God, dude. I was, like, what but, do they expect you to, like, what a comforting... No, that's the thing, is the guy, like... all my money for blankets. <laughs> Sorry, man, they might show up, they might not, we don't they, know. Well, I don't like it when the guy that is in charge of the blankets comes back to me and goes, like, I don't know what's going on back there. <laughs> like, he's baffled, too. I, I'm absolutely just at wit's end. And so, uh, for anybody that's been going, like, what the fuck? Like, these guys, first of all, I get it. We can't post a fucking podcast episode on the date that we're supposed to post it. I get it, okay? They usually are towards the end of the month, but my channel is usually like nine days in between episodes or something. Like, I try, I try to do every Friday. It's not every Friday, but it's now been like two or three weeks since my last video. I've oh. been sitting there waiting with a blanket ad in a video, going like watching the tracking information. I have like two videos finished. I'm just waiting. Waiting and waiting, waiting on them that's, blankets to show up. That's pathetic, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Swift and I get a video out for me about once a week. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a joint effort. Yeah. I make the thumbnail. He makes the whole video. It's kind of like that's an even combining split. our power. Yeah. I, yeah. I also do the titles, which a lot of people say the thumbnail and the titles are the reason it's not getting, you know, enough clicks is... Not enough arrows, not enough big stuff. And I've been trying to implement collaging to the thumbnails as practice for our play date. I, and dude, uh, not to be pessimistic or anything, but yeah, but I think the whole I, fucking world's gonna blow off one day. And I think we're gonna die, <laughs> the sun is, I don't is, think is, I'm gonna be remembered. Scientists tell me the sun's gonna explode soon. Yeah. I'm very scared. No, uh, Alt lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something uh, big's going to happen. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm getting scared. that feeling. Something soon is going to, not to be pessimistic, we're all dead yeah. in a month. Have you seen that news? That It's like the weather guy or something on the news. And he's. <laughs> it was like, it was the morning right, of September right. 11th. And he's like, uh, it's oddly quiet out there. It's uh, just like, something's up. Like he knew. He was like, yeah. the 90s are over. There's Look to the skies. <laughs> Something's amiss. Okay, it's yeah. too good right now. No, yeah, I feel I feel like uh, we're we're riding along the cliff edge. I don't know what it is. What do you think it's going to be? I don't know. And like I told you earlier, I just got a pretty. My dad is like that weatherman today with me and my nine eleven. That's going to happen because I woke up to a text from my dad saying like sister in hospital, brother broke arm or hand, and. uh like, what's up with you? Wait, what? Why what? is your brother in the hospital? I oh, broke his hand. I guess he broke his hand, and my sister's getting migraines that are, like, so bad there. Uh, On the same up? day. Yeah, I guess I don't know what happens. <laughs> okay. But now I'm next? It's basically it sounds the like way your, my dad phrased that. sounds like that. your brother punched your sister in the fucking head. That's what it sounds like. 
That would well, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I actually have no idea how he did it. My dad just said he was laughing at how he did it. So yeah, maybe he, yeah. pun- he punched yeah. her in the fucking face. <laughs> she She's has like a, she has ten a years old or something. I don't know. <laughs> I God, I'm so bad with ages of children, mm-hmm. but he's he's probably strong enough to like. You know when the kid gets that age where like it's normally I'm like ah oh, little brother you know I just push his face in the oh, couch. Oh, he like bows and, up. He's, yeah, he's, he's not at the it, point yeah. where he's like fuck, like catch yeah. my fist. I'm, like, oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get your fucking just hands kidding, off kid me. Brother. He's a man yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. He's having he, that identity. Last time I saw him, it's also it's just one of those things you know as a older sibling, parent, whatever, where you just go, where'd the time go? Yeah, he's, not, he's getting, he's hitting. That age where he's shooting up. My daughter's almost up. six, and the, like I went in there to go fuck with her, and I'm like, ah, like playing with her, and she's just like, Dad, I'm watching TV. I'm reading. I have I have a little bag of Cheetos here. Why are you fucking with me? Do you want to get <sighs> Cheeto crumbs on the couch? I'm so like, sad. what happened to you, dude? You used to be yeah. a little kid that would giggle when I like tickle your little feet. Woo! Not used anymore. To poop your pants. Used to throw yeah. up all over your I'm bring scream. that shit up whenever she's like a, in an office job. <laughs> Remember when you used to shit your pants all the time? Remember that little poopy butted <laughs> bitch in the house, and now you're a woman. That'd be a great beginning to her wedding speech. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember when you used to uh, shit your pants. Just catalog every time it's happened. <laughs> going back, so I never really master of just not answering your question. What do I think's the big cataclysmic event that's mm-hmm. gonna happen? As a man with a lot of insight, yeah, um, something's gonna happen to the podcast. Something's gonna happen to YouTube. Um, We're gonna kill Brian. Brian's gonna, Brian dies. Yeah, Brian I actually would, died like two months ago. That's why he's not on anymore. <laughs> that would be. I it, it's just a hard Mia subject to broach. <laughs> yeah, the, Mia we them. miss him. We miss him. Yeah, we do too. He's fucking dead. Okay, he's been dead, and it's just like kind of an awkward conversation. He died about a month before Die Laughter ended. We yeah. were superimposing old clips of him in, and just a picture that blinked that's every once in a while. That's why he stopped talking on there. That's why he stopped yeah. talking on here. He's just and, a meat puppet. We yeah. weakened at Bernie's Tim. Somehow, so I start wearing those chef, sunglasses. Where they recycled old clips talked more than oh. alive Brian, which is kind of weird. But probably just uh, didn't old chef. What have didn't one of the chefs like he was a Scientologist or something? Yeah, and they made fun of Scientology and then they oh. quit. He I was just okay did it when the they phone. made fun of everything. I get that though. I didn't yeah, like I it when about- they made fun of uh, nerdy guys. White nerdy guys. World of Warcraft players. Yeah, the World of Warcraft of player episode that fucking pissed me that off. I did a lot of bad stuff for my image yeah. with my family. Yeah. Everything else I thought was very cool. <laughs> when they made fun of minorities, when they made fun yep. of Scientologists and other religions. Mormons. And then they hit me. And then they hit me. <laughs> and I said, This don't feel so good. <laughs> and I I want them taken off the air. <laughs> yeah. I kinda I would do that. Did you hear about Shane Gillis going? Uh, he's like hosting SNL next week. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I've been seeing. I get all my news from Twitter, so mm-hmm. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, you saw that, and now like they're doing as much as they can to like drag up old podcast clips of him saying like oh. doing like Chinese impressions and stuff, and <laughs> they're trying to get him yanked off of there. Yeah, and uh, just to let well, you know already. that's that's what's gonna happen to. Not you. I think you're fine. Yeah. You're usually the finger wagger among the group. <laughs> yeah, but, but also I have no chance of going on SNL at any point. So yeah, I, but you're guilty you're by association. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they're, that's why I'm saying like that. That's why like I'm, you're gonna go on SNL and they're gonna play a clip of me. <laughs> like, look at this guy's co-host. Look at him go off in this league lobby. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get dragged under the bus. Uh, I mean, d- but by the way, speaking my, of league, what? We we have to cover that at some point. I'm covering it right now. League updated, and it has come back full force. It has been a complete societal reverse. Okay, yeah. because first, here's the here's the history. All right, you, you, some of you know old Sam. You, you say the N word all the time. Sam was pretty bad guy. Okay, are we? I've grown. Wait, oh. I've grown. Okay. okay, but then and Bizzle came in. Bizzle was like, hey. <laughs> Other people are cool. And I'm I said, I'm going to teach you some new words. Yeah. 
he, he showed me, uh, he was like, listen to NOS. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. And then, uh, and, and everything. Where it, are you going with this? <laughs> Where's this wrapping into? I think they're going to have a really hard time, yeah, finding when you yeah, go on No, I was, I was, everything was in uh, harmony. And I was like, wow, the world is beautiful. And then then me and Brian you, started wait, yeah, playing you, League again. And the and first time, the way it was. <laughs> it's the first time we got fucking ganked. Brian let loose the hardest oh. fucking hard heart I've ever heard. Okay, he's so angry. The shock on Bizzle's face, like all seeing all that work, yeah. just come unraveled in about four seconds. Yeah. I, I think he has shamed yeah. Brian from saying the N word for like years. Years, pretty good yeah. record, I think. Yeah. And then just to see it all come undone that quick, I yeah. yeah there's I a there's the, a I lot the of derogatory I, stuff going on in league games now. I uh, we're back. It's Call of I Duty. Lava, sometimes, lava like here. with my IRL like friend group, they don't say they're not like your fucking friends, but you know, they'll make a <laughs> maybe a pretty like risque joke, and every once in a while, it's like a gut punch of like. <laughs> Dude. What is all this? What have we like? No. What is all this progress for? <laughs> if you're gonna slip into like high school level humor, I don't yeah. know. It's just like I feel like a parent. Yeah, no, you know, what's, funny the, about, like the, like, what's funny about what's funny about Brian guys, doing like, it is when he does it, it is not like he. It's like it it slips out because afterwards he just goes like Jesus Christ! Like I thought I was. <laughs> he's like I thought I was yeah. better than that. What yeah. happened to me? This game's tearing me apart. Like it's immediate regret. It like yeah, comes to the, the surface. Game. Yeah. Yeah. This game did this to me. The game is pulling the mask off. Yeah. And then he puts the mask <laughs> back on. I'm going to go work in my corporate job now. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's mm. insane. I'm glad yeah. I haven't been playing League with you guys. Cause <laughs> Dude, I, I slipped. Like, the other this team's morning, been... when I, I messaged you, I was like, you want to get a rift in before podcast time? Jesus you Christ, said what do you no. mean you slipped? What, like, uh... You said no. I queued up for a ranked solo. Uh, That's how you know times are bad. Yeah, solo, I'm, I, solo Q is not a. Place I played to be. solo, and I fucking lost. It was a horrific, humiliating. Yeah, defeat. No shit, dude. I've got like two wins on my match history. My match mm. history has games from like, like twenty twenty, you know, two still on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, you saw, you heard about it, Devin. Well, let me live it down. We played ranked duos, and I've like. I was never really good at League, even though I used to play a lot, yeah. which is like can be said for a lot of games I play, I guess. But I at least, you know, I got it. I got the idea of it. And now I've lost like anything. And Devin and I played a ranked game and it was over in seven minutes because I missed my first hook is Blitzcrank. Yeah. And a you guy made, on our you team. You made that guy say the N word when you missed yeah. that hook. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. He called me the N-word, and then he left. <laughs> and then our team forfeited within a minute, and I'm just like, guys, what the hell? Like, I thought, no. I, I thought we were playing this game to have fun. No. No. No, no one's there to, like... No one giggles on that game. Casually... We're there to do work. Game? I just can't even, like... I feel like a game like that, I can't... I'd be so hard-pressed to get that mad at it. Like, I really... I don't... Most of the time when I play League, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, now you I get why Bizzle. my teammates, yeah, are getting that mad because I'm just like, whatever. You know, a lot of it's like also pre-excuses. Love throwing a like pre-excuse. That way the bar is low. No one can be disappointed yeah. in me. Uh, but some of my friends, like, they just won't, like, they won't play with me because, or they have to get on their like third Smurf account. <laughs> Because I'm gonna fuck up their elo or something, which I get. You know, they they put a lot of stake into it. I do like, the pre excuse damn. a lot, by the way, because yeah. I play I play a lot of top lane, and yep. that's what I historically always played. And it's like you're on a fucking island up there. There's no help up there. It's a solo game. Yeah. And yep. if I see that I'm going up against like a Darius or something like that, I fucking I hate going against a Darius. I'll be like, look, yeah. a decade ago when I was in my prime. I would get my ass kicked by this guy. It's not going to happen now. Like it, I'm going to get destroyed. There's no chance. And uh, and then also, it's kind of the defeatist mentality. You go in with that kind of headspace, you're going to lose. I think it's a lack of confidence. 
I think I, think I lack is, yeah. confidence yeah. in a lot of realms in my life. Because I've been noticing more and more of the pre-excuse I do on a lot of, like, a lot of games. And I told my wife also, before I bet her, I go, yeah. <laughs> I'm in my 30s I, now. <laughs> I, uh, I'm getting a little sleepy, and Tommy I had a big dinner. Ache, had a big dinner. Yeah. Not 20 I, anymore. I don't feel so good. Yeah, yeah. I... My friends, though, I've been noticing... Because one of them called it out the other day. Because we were both we were about to play each other in a game, and both of us were like, "Well, I haven't been, you know, not been playing very much lately, and you've been playing a little bit more than me." And the other guy's like, "Well, oh, actually, you played last week. I didn't play this week." I'm like, why are we doing this? Why are we so like programmed to like not have any confidence in ourselves? But it's like I because no, if you lower expectations, people are just happy yeah. you you show up. Yeah, but I. But it's like I've got no in between because I'm either doing that or I'm like winning and I'm like making it very personal. I'm like a very mm. sore winner sometimes on those games. I yeah. actually, I hope. Well, he when me and you played, yeah. I was talking a lot of shit until the game started. And I started getting my ass kicked, and all of a sudden I'm like, "All right, yeah, guys, let's talk quiet. about our yeah, yeah." Ooh, taxes are coming up. You guys oh, watched any like good stuff? Like yeah. the game immediately went outside of gameplay talk. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> nice when we played a league match with my IRL friends and Sam. Good little mixed crowd. It was like a dream come true for me, really. And yeah, then, those those were cool guys. That is weird though when different social circles meet. Mm -hmm. I that's like one of my joys of life. I wish all my friends were all friends with each other. Mm. And then I was watching from a balcony. I'm watching all my friends and everyone I've ever met mingle. Really? Because when I just when, like... when one group goes and sees another group, like I'm like, uh, <laughs> like well, it's I, because the I'm groups like, you yeah. are a part of. Like I don't have to worry about like bringing Brian to like my black friend's house or something. <laughs> you know, like. I most of the time I'm okay, pretty like the way we, these guys we will get along. Brian is getting insane slander right now. It makes you it seem like it. he's like you a you, white supremacist. You start, I'm saying you started it, it with like, okay, is like he's reformed. Really throwing out he's the word. He's reformed for the well, most part. I didn't start. I I've yeah. yeah I've thought he's Rome been wasn't conquered in a day. White supremacy like, isn't stamped I mean, out I, in a day. I right? hold the same like mentality as Bissell. I think where we're both the like. Yeah. You know, I'd Boy like to think door. I'd done some work. Yeah. You know, I feel like I put in my time. Like, if I heard you say it, I'd be like very fucking like, what the hell? You know? Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's been some, there's too much like uh, shame put mm -hmm. at you that if you did it, I'd be like, man, I do love like, don't you love when a family member, they're talking about last week about like old pervert family and then like, oh, you just hear someone say something like crazy. There's nothing like getting into a tense family argument. And then it's oh, yeah. always like, oh, do you even, is it worth the argument? And then I, for some reason, I always know it's not going to be. It's like, are you going to really change this 80 year old's mind? No. Yeah. Is it I always, gonna, like, I always put like strain asking on everything? like elaboration, like act like you're on their side and then ask them to elaborate. Cause I had a old crotchety family member come over and he was like, reactionary or something like if i hear it i'm just like man what the hell like come on and then i go over there and go, like, <laughs> strangle them a little bit hey man you should try these other words come on now <laughs> and then they're like god i remember i got into such a sorry to cut you off go on you were about to say something. oh no no it wasn't like i once again i live in the deep south and so when people they they, they free excuse yeah, okay. No, and no, it's so it's, it's weird. Right. The racism is different here, dude. Where yeah, it's they what? won't like a lot of people don't openly say just the n word. It's yeah. like in, it's implied. I'm not saying that's yeah. That. What ha happens? There's it's, just yeah, a lot of I, like I don't when rap music's that. on, they're just like, <laughs> like they just oh. <laughs> they squint their eyes and like what the yeah. fuck is this shit? Uh, I, this family member came over and he was talking about like the worst things I've ever seen is that Fetterman. I don't like how he dressed. He was wearing sweatpants in the. We talked, well, he does, dude. Oh, that guy that? could dress up a little. But <laughs> yeah. Come on, maybe some slacks or something. Christ. He does look like just a little a goddamn trucker. respect. Yeah, He's like a trucker or something. Like a fat-headed trucker, dude. <laughs> At least put a cool hat on or something. He's just bald-headed too. He's just like 
bald rockin' shorts. He looks like a sex offender. Adam's, he has like Adam Sandler outfits on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'd be wearing like a zoot suit or something if I ever got the honor. No, that I think that's a great that's a great way to go about it because they'll complain about anything. They complained when yeah. Obama wore a tan suit. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I would dress up, I would meet the the dress code, but yeah, I would go above and beyond. Have a little cane. Zoot suit with the big hat with a feather. <laughs> yeah. And oh, do the yeah. walk. Like uh, just from the mask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I do the walk wear the mask the suit. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. I, I remember in uh college was pretty bad because I'm like first generation scholar. So, you know, a lot of these old people have come out of the woodworks where they'd be like, Hey, you're a college boy. You're liberal, huh? I'm like I listen, man, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I got just it. take one, yeah. one good look at my college, you know, they go, Okay, liberal arts. <laughs> and uh I'm fully I brainwashed. Would, they would give me a lot of, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm going to bounce an argument off you because you're a kid that goes to college. And it would be like shit where I'm like, why are you bringing this up to me? Like, at a family function, really? I yeah. got tag teamed by my step grandpa and his friends once. And they were, uh, they were just like, you go to college, right? What do you think about how the BLM are all terrorists and they're destroying this country? I'm like, Christ, man, like... <laughs> I go to college, I just smoke weed, and I party, Whoa. dude. Like, yeah. calm down. I like, think you I'm think like, I'm in college for different yeah. reasons. <laughs> well, I remember just being like, yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I don't think that's really what it's all about. And they're like, well, here's our fucking bullet point list of, I'm like, dude, Christ. And it, might, it got so bad where I'm just, like, arguing with, you know, a bunch of old people I don't even know and my step-grandpa where my dad had to come over and be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, leave, leave them alone. <laughs> Like, what the hell's wrong with you? But it's just, uh, I mean, I'm excited. I, I'm assuming we'll hit that age at some point. No, no. Okay, so the problem is if you're concerned that much about it, that means you don't have any, f any like, family thing going on. You don't have, like, kids. So you don't, you're not, ha you don't have any, like, progression going on in, like, your household. And then at the same time, or anything to preoccupy your time, and then you don't have any like hobbies. Like these people either go to work and then when they're not at work, they're just watching uh, they the They do have a hobby, okay? They drink a lot and they play dominoes. Is Fox News on in the background while they uh, they've got they've got like they're tapped into some live feed yeah. that's even more <laughs> extreme. That'd be great if yeah. they were just watching C SPAN and getting the same uh, yeah. same amount of radicalized. Yeah, they're they're, just they're watching much. just local T V <laughs> just watching the unedited diners unedited uh, live feed of the house i know well dude it's <laughs> so been you know, out of shape <laughs> i don't know it's just funny i'm glad like i love i love my my grandma my mom's mom is definitely probably like <laughs> would not agree with her but she keeps it all to herself you know mm. when i'm over there i walk in and she's got like about a thousand pictures of jesus around the house and crosses and fox on 24 7 nothing wrong with that Okay, and uh, I don't know. I just I've never heard her once like voice anything, and that I'm like, that's cool. Just keep that shit to yourself, Grandma, because I'm sure you've got some crazy ideas. I'm sure she's got some like pretty wild opinions about the world, <laughs> but I've never heard them. And my step grandfather, on the other hand, it's like I walk in the fucking house, and he's like, "Here's the new shit I learned this week about why I hate you." <laughs> And all your friends. I'm like, okay, man. <laughs> and that's why I will piss on his grave. Ew, I just got a little bit of spittle on my lip. That's why I'll piss mm. on his grave. But my grandma, I'll be cool. I'll pour pour 40 on her. Well, something. we're, we're going to have this episode. And then next month, I'm going to go to that range day. Um, and then it's going to be. I'm going to come back with a big that's fucking cowboy hat. Yeah. <laughs> it, big NRA thinking, patch on my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, which There's I was gonna like, be some people that are like, why are they, why are they shitting on me right now? Don't worry, next month you're gonna get your yeah. view. Yeah. Sam's gonna come back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. We have a new man. Old gun, and I'm gonna be anti-liberal. And I'm gonna be like, did you see that new Tucker thing with uh, Putin? <laughs> that completely, it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> he did all the hard <laughs> questions and got out of there alive. I'd be so yeah. fucking scared if I was him because if he does any realistic journalism they're gonna fucking blow up his plane on the way out 
he's leaving that yeah. interview with an SD card. He's like, I got him. <laughs> you hear the Sam missiles. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's going to be like the most milk toast interview of all time. It's going to be no hard questions. He's probably getting an approved list of questions that I'm he can't ask. I'm going to dissect it, and I'm going to talk about it on my Twitch channel. I'm going to have all the bre- breaking news. Okay. Dude, anybody that does those, any mm-hmm. any form of that, has my undying gratitude. Anytime that someone goes like, I watch this, and I'm going to break it down for you, yeah. where I'm like, I'm getting all my shit filtered for me, and they're getting they're they're able to you would watch those like movies broken down a movie Have you ever recap? Watched this? there's I a million those, shitty horror movies that yeah. i never wanted to watch but i'm like that's an interesting concept i'll watch you that little recap me off though it's like omid and my friend will both watch a lot of those and they don't watch any movies wait the kennedy will no oh okay. the will that was emerald when we played league okay um but they wa- like they won't. We're watch gonna movies, have to but weed watch, out like, some of these wills. There's like seven of them. I know. There's technically Torrent's like, gonna have to die in like a Discord. fucking car crash or something. We well, just call him B Torrent, which is good. And luckily, yeah. I've got one of our wills goes by his middle name, which helps. You know, he made the sacrifice. But there's still what a good guy. There, there's still like three you of when them. you say call me Poob in public. Yeah, it so was Sam doesn't get antsy. Uh, it was pretty weird. You called me Sam at one point. I think we were playing league. It just didn't feel, good. feel, you know. Yeah. It slipped but, out, and I was like, ugh. Yeah, same. But ugh. also, it feels just as wrong when my friends call me poob. Because it's yeah. like, well, what? Yeah, Do we, have we not known each other since we're like four, man? Come on. Yeah. I'm a lot more than this. I'm yeah. actually probably less. <laughs> I'm probably less. If when you, I turn this <laughs> off, I do much less than a person would expect. When we do, when we turn off OBS, you should see yeah. we deflate it like at the end of it, where he gets yeah. smaller and smaller until uh, he's like a little puddle. I'm not afraid yeah. anymore. <laughs> it's what yeah. happens to streamers when you go. I'm not entertained anymore. Uh. The second they turn off OBS, that's every streamer. They just it's get tiny great. in the chair. I, <laughs> I've done that before where I've raided someone and not hit in stream and people can still see me where I'm like, all right, bye guys. Like, see you later. <laughs> and they're like, Hey poob, like Jesus Christ. Still, you're still live. <laughs> oh, Swift has DM me before and been like, Oh my God. I just saw you for like 10 seconds. After it's stream. the real you. Yeah. Just, that was poob stream. And uh, then <laughs> now they're seeing Sam. It's not a good look, dude. I immediately get a cigarette out. <laughs> honey, honey, you got that chicken ready? I got a bunch of little brat kids running around the house and stuff. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I that's just, I all keep Sam's. It. Sam's yeah. are like that. Yeah. Yeah. You just have the... the Even persona. the girl ones. Yeah. <laughs> Aqua's... Aqua's wife. <laughs> Aqua's baby mama or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When I was real tight with him, I'm sure that was annoying, just being surrounded by Sam's all the time. Because <laughs> there was yeah, a time was... when me and you used to hang out with him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was married. The golden days. Yeah. yeah. The then he had that days. kid. And then, and then yeah. you like, then you like pestered him so much he wouldn't hang out with us. Yeah, I remember that. And then people thought that we hated each other. Yeah. It's more like uh, bitter indifference. <laughs> it's more like he hated you. Yeah. But it, wasn't it was very really one sided. Like I was like a, I was like an annoying dog. Like, bro, hey, why? Hey, we hey. can't fucking hang out. What the hell? He's yeah. like, no, you keep chewing up the couch. Get the fuck out of here. But yeah. those days were over, and now it's all back. Now it's all back. I'm just. A he nice was on the boy. podcast. He was. Didn't speak to us afterwards. <laughs> as yeah, soon as we turned off since. OBS, he ran. He fucking yeah. left. <laughs> I hope he's uh, doing well with that uh, baby. That little kid, yeah. I have such a great idea for something to send him for the kid, like a household thing. And <laughs> we should work on it when you're here. Oh, okay. I don't a want crib? to spoil it. I don't want anybody <laughs> a wooden to... handmade crib. Y- you know, yeah. That would be exciting. Though. Lots of nails. He, he has to have that. <laughs> he has to have that already. He's got like a really fast spinning thing on the yeah. top. Well, that way you can Blender see they're blades. not escaping from any yeah. side. The whole crib just spins. Lasers really everywhere. <laughs> lasers taped over. 
be cool. <laughs> Razor that would wire. actually be a really funny gift. Just like a complete, like a crib that when you set something, any weight on it, like <laughs> collapses. <laughs> like a bear trap. <laughs> Have you seen those beds uh, that, uh, the earthquake beds? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like, just like one of those for a baby. Yeah. That earthquake has to bed. be fake. Yeah. Because yeah. like, what if, yeah. if I'm having sex on that bed, it's going to think there's a goddamn <laughs> five scale earthquake or whatever. I would rather die in the rubble than than be trapped inside that, like at the bottom of a fucking building, in a box. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, there's, there's something. They're like, it's fire rated. It, it's like burn proof for like twelve hours or something. But they're like, but you get Got your oxygen through these little vents. I'm like, well, if it's fire outside, then no air is getting inside, so you just suffocate in there. That, that seems. Would, I, it seems worse than just having a big cinder block hit you in the head while you're sleeping, personally. Yeah, but what if the cinder block hit you in the nuts? And you got nut shot, and then you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> and then more rubble hits you. Yeah. Starting I get your toes. one second of nut shot, yeah. and then and then Cinder everything block falls on, on your me. toes, then your shin, then your knee. Yeah. Then I, your do, I, I do love the Twitter video. It has to be a joke at this point, because the at least the narration is, because the guy's like, it looks like any other bed. <laughs> No, it fucking does not. It's like a, for the audio listeners that haven't seen this, it's a giant, like you're sleeping at the top of a pillar. And then when the building starts shaking, you fall down. Like it just yeah. sucks down your mattress, like Nightmare on Elm Street. And it closes you into like a metal compartment that has to food and water. It's like a big nest, a big it's metal like a, nest. A, it's like a panic room. Yeah. But just for you yeah. and maybe your dog, if it's on the end of the bed. Panic and your dog's cool. probably going to get killed in the door that closes on top. <laughs> Your dog's going to panic yeah. and way better reflexes than you do. Knowing also, me, though, I would fall and then I would sit up to see what's happening yeah. and the door would fucking <laughs> crush my head. Yeah. Cut, cut off my neck. Yeah. Oh. Cut off my neck. <laughs> Leaving my head and shoulders, though. Completely. Imagine just finding the box and there's just a head sitting on top of it. <laughs> Well, then the body worked and yeah there's a head sitting on top with a big brick on hit you in the head <laughs> that'd be horrific if you're like abby you're what 18 hours inside of a metal box with just a headless corpse oh yeah <laughs> just yeah. pushing Somebody me up else. against yeah your dog's eating you <laughs> your dead body abby's just like, <laughs> out. yeah that'd be yeah. funny yeah you know what I'm glad I don't live in a place that has any sort of tectonic plate movement or anything. There's no rocks here in Florida. I don't think a earthquake's yeah. not possible here, is it? Have you ever experienced an earthquake? Uh, technically, yeah. I don't really remember it, but I think uh, I think earthquakes happen in Indiana every once in a while. Maybe huh. I could also be completely wrong. Uh, I don't know. I've never experienced where I'm like, oh, shit, like I need yeah. to be in a bed that protects me. You know, I've never. But also, I don't know. I was just talking to someone about this the other day where they're like, I'd be really scared to live in California. Just thinking about the fault lines. Yeah. I feel like I wouldn't think about that at all. I think I would just be fine. until you know what I'm, I'm concerned killed. about with California is lack of water. Yeah. Everybody lives there and there's no water. Because they concreted up the damn river and they took all the water. And all the, there, there's yeah. so many, like, every time I hear anything about agriculture happening out west, like west of the Rockies, it's always like some horrific thing where, once again, as if we're riding the edge of a cliff, you hear about, like, all those alfalfa farmers. They're just like, we need alfalfa. What the fuck for? Like, who needs alfalfa? I think they use it for like um, livestock feed or something. There's an but. awesome little rascals joke here. If I knew <laughs> the girl's name, fuck, yeah. what's her name? When you figure it out, Stalt, you cut all the yeah. in between. Oh. Okay, yeah, then cut cut right back into here. I know who needs alfalfa, Darla from Little Rascals. Whoa. <laughs> 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 ah! Woo, dude, I you're love. quick. You're quick with yeah. them, but uh, yeah, they're draining the Great Salt Lake in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh. To make alfalfa, imagine... Make a big Mormon camp <laughs> yeah. alfalfa. Go look at, like, a satellite imagery of the Great Salt Lake. It's getting smaller and smaller every year. You're going to get a rabbit problem. <laughs> right, because rabbits <laughs> love alfalfa and Darla yeah, loves add alfalfa. add studio laughter to that yeah, one, Stalt. So I'll cut back into that, too, where I go, 
Darla and rabbits. <laughs> yeah. Also, <laughs> that well, is something that they. You know what we're gonna do? Love. We're gonna make the episode shorter, and we're gonna give Stalt a lot more work. <laughs> that way, it kind of evens my eyes out. Go red with anger <laughs> right now. Yeah. Shorter episodes. I don't like that. Shorter Lasers. episodes, but more editing. Yeah. Because I watched, we, I sat there and watched Swift edit a cyberpunk video for you. Great video, by the all, way, guys. Go check that out on PoopTube. Great video. You're in a Fruits diner and you just go like, like you go like, Ugh, and then pfft, and you make like a fart noise. Yeah, and he was I sitting there laughing that. and just editing in actual puke and shitting on the floor. Yeah. That took That's, hours. I think it was three separate nights I sat here and watched him just like, I've never seen someone study four seconds of puking and shitting in my life. You would just, you oh, would make I, like one little tweak. He's like, does that shit look real? That shit does not look real enough. We need to. I, it worked. Yeah. It's movie magic. I, I sent him a message earlier today where I'm like, once again, like really just appreciate, like you've turned my dreams into reality. He like because, rotoscoped your legs yeah. out, I think too, and everything. So it was just like literally shit on the floor. It looks. Just incredible. an incredible yeah. performance. I should send him a bonus for that edit. Well, Stalt, Here's edit that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Stalt, so cut that, but yeah. then don't remember that also. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I thought the, that video was super, super rad. Yeah. I've done that, though, in about 100 streams where I don't. I just will always think that's funny, just being like, <laughs> it's the first time I've seen what it, how funny it really is. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> if you, <laughs> if I were actually doing those things, it would get quite the laugh out of me. Yeah. So there's, you know, what the real evil game is for me. <laughs> what in history? It's not League of Legends. When I when I was in my worst of playing League of Legends, in the Left real dead. throws of it. No, <laughs> you. Once I say it, you'll be like, oh yeah, obviously. But League of Legends is a big high school thing for me, and I had like. I don't know. I didn't have enough free time to be so filled with hate. Um, and I wasn't like as frustrated, you know, with the world or anything. Uh, Cause it's like you work, you do sports, you do your homework and then you play league of legends. It's bedtime. But in college I had a lot more free time and I was playing rust a lot freshman yeah. year. And that game really, I think it's like, I think it honestly made me like evil for a while. I think, I think that's there was actually, like a year that's there. That's a very nuanced take there. That the yeah, I don't think anyone's is ever a, is an idle hands type thing. And it's to be put. The blame is to be put on a game. Yeah, like Jumanji or something. Like yeah. the game did it to me, mm -hmm. and I'm in the clear. No, that, because that's, that was my argument before. My, like me and Brian, yeah. we're good boys. We're reformed. League brought my it out. My heart, of us. my heart is good. But my heart game, aches when I like my venom. Yeah. He, like, wraps around me. <laughs> it's a symbiote. It's evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I just uh, remember... Well, because there's, so like, there's so much beautiful to Rust, and then people just choose... Yeah. Uh, pipe shotgun! I'm like, going to sit outside even, your house and torment like, you! betraying people? Where you, like, get their trust hardcore in that game? Mm -hmm. Get in their base after hours and then kill them? Like, it used to just be so easy. And now... Like sometimes when I'm watching Devin Nomid stream, I have to be like, "Oh, <laughs> like good heavens!" Because all that hard just, work, God, just trick a guy, and yeah. they'll be like talking to him and joking with him, and it's like I'm like scared watching it because I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and they had this one guy on there where it was like the first time they hadn't killed a guy because the guy was giggling. He was giggling with like whimsy. He just had so much love in him. And he was like, oh, like, guys, we are having fun, Fane. And they were just talking about how they're going to kill him. And I'm like, I can't watch this. I really cannot watch this. But I used to, you know, I, I used to lure a person into a place. Suck There's on this beauty in that. Place. You don't see yeah, the beauty in that? Not the anymore. Anymore, it's like, I think it's because now I just imagine him. I'm like, this is a guy that just got done with, like, a shitty day of work. And he's getting to play his video games for like two hours. And some guy okay. that okay. didn't do shit today is just going to trick him and take all his stuff. Like, that just doesn't sit right with me. Okay, I don't know. you I have just, that mentality. But I, I, I feel, asked this. I asked him to this. And I want to see your take on it. What would you rather okay. do? Ruin a bad person's day or ruin a good person's day? I'd rather ruin a bad person's day. You just made. Isn't that like the easy? Like, that's what everyone says, right? 
I mean, would you rather <laughs> what do you mean? I don't even understand like how what kind of question that's like the well, most be- basic like moral <laughs> compass question. It's like okay, like, well then I be- won't elaborate well, anymore. <laughs> No, Since like, let it's me so hear cut what, and dry. No, okay. I guess there's, there's, maybe the world isn't so black and white. What's your nuanced take? Well, it's not a nuanced about, take about it. It's, no. uh, it's just, it is kind of heartwarming when you come in as that agent of chaos on a, someone okay. that is just a good person. You fuck them over, and then they, they just go, hey, you know what? And they persevere being just a good person oh. afterwards. It's like, you know, that's their trial, oh. and they made it through. And you sometimes are that trial, and it's just, okay. it's heartwarming that it's like, at no point did I break this guy. He didn't hit me with the N-word, all right, because we're not playing league, you know? I didn't make him slip that far. So you're trying but to, like, progress like I, I'm trying to hero's test him. journey. Think of me like, uh, you know, like when God comes down and tests Job in, in the Old Testament? That style. Uh, Windigoon, <laughs> and I get a, <laughs> yeah. what the hell is this guy talking about over here? English, please. You never went to the, you never went to church as a kid. I went to a very weird church. Uh, I went to a like Native American white person church. Uh, I got a lot of like weird, uh, like um, Elizabeth Warren church. Yeah, like a lot of potential appropriation in my early years. But I well, don't think white they people taught, want to be special. So of course they taught, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm one sixteenth Native. Yeah, oh, I don't. Yeah, I really. I I've got to like find out one day what that was all about. Because like, <laughs> if you look at any picture of me before the age of like four, I almost always am like, at, like I've got a little like drumstick in my hand, or I'm like wrapped in a Pendleton or something. Yeah. Like, what is this all about? What is what's were you, happening were here? Were you into natives or uh, like were me you personally? Led, were you led to believe that you were part native? Um, cause there's a distinction, like uh, everybody played like cowboys you, and Indians growing up, but I don't know. I've been to a lot of powwows where there's a bunch of old white people hitting around on a drum. Like I said, I've got a couple of Pendleton blankets. Pretty cool. What, uh, okay. I don't know if that's if, got if anything. If you're, if you're like a minority listening to this, like you can't blame us. Like what else do we fucking have? Like, what, what else like, we got? I guess it'd be cool to go to Ireland. I really would. Have but you seen so all those away. videos of like Irish people shitting on Americans that think they're Irish? Uh, well, I'm not like obviously like an Irish person. Yeah, I know, but you know what I am? I'm a goddamn full blooded American. <laughs> I'm American. First off, yeah. let's get one thing straight, and I don't wish it any other way. Yeah, I'm proud to be a goddamn Indiana corn fed boy. <laughs> but it would be. Would you cool fly an American like- flag over your house? <laughs> I would fly too. I would. Fl- I'd fly a goddamn automotive. <laughs> or would you put one 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 at constant half mass for what they're doing to our country, <laughs> and then one one above an eagle's height, one about okay. a thousand feet in the air, and it would be one of those ones from a car dealership. Oh, they're just I the big boys. Sometimes just got in the front lawn and just like. Ah. I didn't notice the other day my house has like a built-in flag holder. <laughs> no flag I was, I was like, what would I, would I do that? <laughs> would I? My grandpa like, used to have one I, and we would uh, have to go put flag up. Dude. Don't let that have thing to touch the ground. It. Yeah. Fold I did do up. that like weird veterans flag fold a couple times where they're like. In Boy Scouts, we did that all the time. Your great grandfather, he died or something in the, one of the world wars. whoop de doo <laughs> Maybe he should have been one of the ones that lived. Those are the ones I like. And my dad made me fold a flag a couple times where it's like, here's this particular, like, it was a weird thing where it's like, take it out and look at it and be like, yeah, you end up with like a paper football. Yeah. Yeah. And then you end up with a, then you flick it back into its little (laughs) case. It had like a little triangle case. (laughs) I haven't seen that thing in 15 years. Like, I don't know if he lost it or what or he found out something about his grandpa in like a <laughs> war criminal <He> <laughs> <But> it. <laughs> yeah we have not honored that man in a long time and i find that sad because like will my great grandchildren honor me in the traditions i want yeah will our digital age secure it where it's like wow we can look at his instagram and know what he was like or will it all be gone and i should have more physical media I'm hoping that they'll be able to catalog 
all of our experiences that are posted online and create an animatronic of us almost like that black mirror episode the lady's boyfriend dies and then that would be awesome she gets a robot boyfriend (sighs) yeah yeah and then it just is like even if i don't die i'm just gonna get one of those and just just to annoy abby i'll have one be great to have with her all time like at your gravestone so like when people (laughs) go and talk to your grave and they're like i know you like if you're you can hear me it's like i know you can hear me because you're a little (laughs) half buried animatronic in the dirt and she's like, hello, hello. Oh, I thought you I thought you meant just like sitting up on the, the gravestone like Ronald McDonald. I was imagining more half buried and he's, he's got just just his face sticking out of the ground or yeah. something. Hello, grandson. Hey. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. Don't piss also, on me. I was talking about this the other day. I think I would really I mean, real hot take here. I'd like to be rich when I die and have a monole what it monolese mausoleum. Monolism? Mausoleum. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know why that escaped me so hard. I swear to God I said it first try the other day when I was talking about this. You're just going to have to take my word. And so go ahead and cut that out and cut right back into here. I was talking about a maus- mausoleum. Uh, mausoleum. And, uh, and then cut that, fix that. <clears throat> Thanks. It'd be so cool to have one of those. And just what you could do with it, really, like, shape it, the inside to be. And maybe even have singing lab, like, because I can't imagine how expensive they are. Because I've heard just a regular grave is pretty goddamn expensive. But, like, what if it were really small? Mm. And you could just put your head in it. Like, you had to lay down and you could look at it. Oh, it's like a little it. art piece. Yeah. Yeah. You go and there it's got, and like, you, you little put, miniatures yeah. and stuff. Or have maybe you ever seen it's... the little miniature museums where they just have a little door in the yeah. wall? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. But, like, you just peek in and it's, like, my whole life. Oh. And it's, like... <laughs> It's like birthed and like me hanging out with a bunch of like me on the plains with my Native American family <laughs> and then just like a big blank space and then I'm dead and I, there's like some scattered computers and stuff in there. I can is, put all my hot toys in there. That's kind of cool, but at the same time, I also feel like when you die, I feel like you should just fucking just be gone. No reference to you is left. Just whoosh, just gone one day. That's what I, happens to a lot uh, of people there. I was... Uh, at a graveyard, and um, there were some engineers that had a grave or like a mausoleum thing, and all over their mausoleum they have like calculators. They, no, like they're the, the things that they engineered that they were proud of. Wow, it's just like look at this bridge we made and this and this stuff. I'm like, you guys have been dead for of, like 25 years now. Like that bridge collapsed. <laughs> yeah. It, I I just it felt like uh very much like someone just clawing to like remember me like the works that I've done and it is just kind of sad that the, it's what was it like after like you know a couple decades like everybody forgot you were here for the most part yeah. and so having that mausoleum is just it seems so desperate it's like a one <sighs> desperate thing one last thing to get people's attention just kind of sad <laughs> then again it can be done in a beautiful way like when David Bowie. He did that Black Star album before he died. Did you see? Did you listen to that? That album was incredible. He knew he was going to die. I know so a different he... Black Star album, but oh I really? Who's that by? Uh, it's I just thought by I was the, by the hip hop duo Black Star. Oh, uh, I just um, I could no, swear I looked over. I thought I was people. streaming. I was about to fucking oh. shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> my my heart left, dude. Oh no! <laughs> All those. Yeah. St- Slander about Brian. <laughs> Fuck. That's not slander, dude. That's the slander on the game. Okay. It's libel. Yeah. Not slander. <laughs> it's slander on the game. The League of yeah. Legends is doing it. So yeah, I forgot about that, sorry. Yeah. Brian is uh, a good boy. He's reformed. But and frog. About the, I might that, as well uh, drag uh, frog into it. Frog. I think anyone frog, that you like make a big deal about being reformed is pro- it's gonna come off worse for them. <laughs> like it, no one wants the big like, man, you've really changed. You used to be Really, really rotten. Now, yeah. I congratulate you. <laughs> now you're good. I boy. think it's better to just slip under the radar and you think grow. I don't grow. I, mean, I don't under personally the radar? do that. Any chance I get, you know, I'll tell people I'm not that guy anymore. You guys, come on! I'm <laughs> it's not, been years. I remember that. You know what helps with it? Having no good sense of memory because you can reinvent yourself yeah. every year. I go. What? What do I stand for? And then I open up the news, and I go, I stand for this and that, this. And it, then I'm do you just think it's important guy. for a guy to have something that he stands for? 
like a, 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 a creed, a a fall credo. for anything. Um, I guess like a, no, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't necessarily stand for anything. I think it's important to stand for uh, the anthem <laughs> and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah. no, I think it's just about. I think it's all just about trying to be a little better every day. Like my name is Earl. I think if you shape yourself after my name, you do is a Earl, lot of my name is Earl references. Is that your? Is Jason <laughs> that Lee my, your? Uh, is he your go to? It was just. I mean, no. It's just one of those. 6 a.m. before school shows that I watched a shit ton. It's like Malcolm in the Middle, my mind, you know. Oh, dude. Well, just I was a, a big Malcolm fan. a great fan. show of that era. God, yeah. I love Malcolm in the Middle. That's one of my favorite sitcoms, you know. Yeah. I always, it, what was weird was growing up, Malcolm in the Middle, I'd watch that. And then Ender's Game, I'd watch that or I'd read that. It was one of my favorite books. And both those, I, I would like. Uh, I would place myself in the shoes of the very smart person, yeah. <laughs> like Ender and Big like mistake. Malcolm. And then Dewey's I grew up and I was like, oh, I'm actually like in the fucking dumb shit. Yeah, <laughs> you're actually... a Reese, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I'm the Reese of the of the situation. It's really yeah. sad. You're a Reese wanting to be a Malcolm Ooh. when everyone should want to be yeah. Dewey. Because on rewatch, he's the best type of genius in the family. He he's is. got the musical inclination. Yeah, and He's just, he's just low key, kind of a baller, and he just gets shit done, and he just kind of stays under the radar and really grinds and hustles. And Malcolm's just kind of a know it all, and he is. Reese is also pretty cool. Where he's like, I'm. A Did good you ever cook. read Ender's Game? No. Uh, is it like say, Malcolm you, in the if, Middle? If you could do a, a similar analysis of, because uh. it, it's it's he's also I think no I think he's the youngest. And he has like an mm-hmm. older sister and he has an older brother, but the Little sister is Jamie. sister's too emotional. And then the mm-hmm. brother is too hateful. He's a, he's a little yeah. bit too mean spirited. So Ender is like supposed to be, I think like a genetic mix up of those two where it's like mm. he, he has the sternness of his older brother, but the softness of his sister. And, uh, I always, I always read that book and I was like, wow, I'm like I'm, Ender. Yeah. I'm <laughs> and a then, little softer than yeah. my brother. <laughs> I'm a little harder than my sister. <laughs> yes. And then he kills a kid in the bathroom and I was like, that's uh, what I would have done, Ender. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> we, we are so alike. We are on the same page. <laughs> yeah, we're like the same yeah. guy. He does like Me some fucking like Dewey on Malcolm. He does like this fucking judo thing where he like breaks this guy's uh, nose. Tiger's or palm. Yeah, off the nose shoots it. Shoots the nose bone through the back uh, of the head. Excellent Smart. move, Ender. I would have done the same Smart. thing. <laughs> I would have probably got it done a little faster, mm-hmm. but well, he does it. Go. He does it in such a gay way. He's, he's they attack him in the shower, and then he sucks the guy's penis. And, <laughs> He turns up all the nozzles so it's steamy in there. Oh. And he lubes himself up with soap so he's hard to grab onto. It's just smart. Yeah. Because as soon as they enter, they start doing the bad guy monologuing, right? And he's like, I'm going to let these things heat up while you're doing that. And he turns on and he starts lubing up with soap. That's it, such a Dewey move. It is. It's a, There's it's a lot of parallels. Pretty. Ender and Dewey. God. Like the same guy. And then a little bit of My Name is Earl in there, actually. He's got a little yeah. bit of Crab Man in him when I think yeah. about it. Actually, uh, yeah. I also really had like a, a I, f- I felt like there was a kindred spirit between me and Bobby from <laughs> King of the Hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that fat yeah. little kid. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I Maybe they that. could be mixed yeah. in there. Maybe it's Bobby. I love Bobby. Yeah, put Bobby covered in, there. in soap and in Ender's game bathroom. He would have gotten fucking killed yeah. two seconds. All right, stall. Can you edit that up for us real quick? A scene of that Bobby <laughs> yeah. doing the Ender's game bathroom kill. That would be really sweet. <laughs> that would That'd be, be really cool. Yeah, we'll put Swift on that. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I know you're pretty busy, but here's the uh, here's the general idea. Maybe a cameo from Dewey, just if you can fit it in. <laughs> In. What? Uh, when you're talking about your uh, your links to to Native American ancestry, I was uh, my real very and valid real. links. Well, I I found this guy that makes awesome videos, uh, exposing <laughs> white liars for, <laughs> for for not at all, not at all treacherous. <laughs> oh God! No, no, he I can't find him now, but he um. All he does is he he goes on like Google Maps and he looks around out in the desert 
and he, he tries to see like I think more than anything, he's like a geologist. And so he looks for like weird geological formations. You know how like all those hoodoos and stuff like that, that form out there, like the Mexican hat. Um, you know what I'm talking about? You know what those are? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, hoodoos, like whodunits. Yeah. Like. No, there's a, they're like the big rock spire oh, thing. Yeah. Um, I can. Yeah, sure. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. All he does is he finds those on... I, I think I actually have seen this guy. Yeah, it, you'll find, like, just weird, weird ones. And then yeah. he just and hikes just out, out to him. Yeah, he hikes yeah, out to him. Yeah, that's really cool. Sometimes they're, like, it's like a two-day walk to get out there in the middle of fucking nowhere. No water, as far as the eye could see. And it's uh, very... I don't know. That seems... I don't think I would do that. I think I would die out there. But um, when he goes out there, oftentimes you'll find where people have just been living, like, hundreds of years ago, they would... Which is such like a what I would do as a little kid. I would look around and go like, "That's like a big sky tower. I'm gonna build like little. It's like the most fortified place you would ever build out in the middle of the desert." And then once you get finished, you'd go, "Where the fuck? where the fuck's the water? water. I, need, I need yeah. water. I need food. There's none of that yeah. out here. This fucking sucks." But those videos rock. I've been um that. W- is That's that a, your really important thing? That you yeah, know? that was all I wanted to say. Was it, oh. yeah, I just wanted to find that guy's channel and yeah. then share those it. videos are a lot better than this video. So if you guys are interested in checking some out, those I've seen that where he's like, "There's something man-made way out here. I'm yeah. gonna investigate." And it's it is you're intrigued. You are it's a very cool idea. Well, it's, it's uh, really because cool. there's there's the concept and then there's some closure at the end. Yeah. So it's the exact opposite of what I get talking about aliens with Swift. Where he's just like, yeah. what if? You know, but what if? Show me some fucking proof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Until, there's a, until there's some closure at the end of this, don't even fucking bring it up to me. Okay? Until I taste it. Yeah. Until I taste alien. I don't. <laughs> I still think God has got, got me. You know there's going to be uh, one person that as soon as aliens pop up, they're going to be like, I want to fucking cook that and eat that guy. Yeah. I mean, for sure. I have to taste it. Like probably about a billion people. I'll be like, I've got I want to fuck that. Oh, for sure. Especially if it's got like huge tits, and like a big ass. (laughs) Do you want to fuck it or eat it first? Which one? I'm going to eat it out and then I'm going to beat it up. Uh, (laughs) I would honestly, if there was alien, there was an alien. Yeah. I would discover alien orgasms pretty quickly, if you know what I mean. Uh, I probably wouldn't fuck or eat an alien because of oh, just really? fear. Oh, okay. Fear of, like, every movie where anyone's ever, like, done something with an alien and then they get infected. Like, you know, yeah. uh, District 12. Like, we don't know what the internal temp needs to be yeah. for an alien for it to be safe. I just would like assume my dick do it well would done. get ripped off if I fucked it, <laughs> and if I ate it, I would die. Like I don't know. I it would also depends. Like what do they look like? What are they? Are they like in like? They look like Robin or, Williams. <laughs> yeah. Just a regular guy with like a little hey. antenna on top of his head. Yeah. I'm the genie. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably fuck it. But is it like a little gray alien with big black eyes? I'm gonna be like, Ugh. uh. Yeah, I think it's one just, of those little, <laughs> this little classic gray aliens with big black eyes, but it's got a wig on and some fake tits, yeah. <laughs> some red lipstick. I don't know. I might experiment on it, but uh, have you ever seen those? Have you ever seen those pocket pussies that are like <laughs> they try to fit as many horny things in possi- no, as possible into dude. one package? So it's like uh, it's like a flashlight with tits and it has an ass on it too. What if the alien what? just looks like that? It steps off the ship. To, hold on. I'm trying to conceptualize. It's it's like a pocket pussy that's all got tits on it. It's yeah, it's it's just like a big it's like a I don't it's like a torso, it's got big tits, it's got an ass on it, and it's yeah, it's like a little late no like head. How big usually. is it? They're like this big it's so weird like yeah because it's like you're fucking like a child with huge tits y- yeah it's or just very like strange it's but like a it, chucky doll but if you want tit action you have to pussy. go get a full-size sex doll and they, how are you gonna hide that you can still take this thing and put it in a drawer i think i just the, normally go like this <laughs> you just i can grab your I own can jerk off very easily i don't need some sort of uh, some people are need you saying that where are you going with this though are there versions I, of the 
you're saying what if an alien had that on it? <laughs> I was just, yeah, what if an alien stepped out of the ship and he just looked like that? It was sick. <laughs> just fat tits. <laughs> fat tits and a pussy right there. <laughs> no Asking imagination the needed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if an alien had a pocket pussy on him and tits? Well, then I'd be more inclined to fuck it. Let's be real. Than if it were a um, scary monster alien. Yeah, I don't know. That's Now, that's the kind of questions that we've been dying to get into around here. And we've definitely never worked around before. I just probably like, have eight times talking about fucking an alien. And I think every time it probably devolves into the same, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, I would definitely. And then it, Given it the opportunity to, like, just to yeah. be, like, in the history books for something that's not actually an achievement. Yeah. For sure. I'd be the first person to do it. <laughs> but it, it's also like, you know, heart, like, you know how far back in line we are if an alien shows up and it's like, I want to fuck a dude. <laughs> Well, like, that would be so first special. The president if it, gets if it, dibs. If it, <laughs> if it comes out of the ship, <laughs> yo, forehead fables. <laughs> I want to get Eiffel Towered by this guy's on forehead. Yeah. Hey, yo, <laughs> <little> Eiffel Tower. <laughs> this little fucking crooked finger. <laughs> Brian's like, can I get in on that? Like, what are the no! rules? <laughs> if you're not showing up to every episode, you don't get to fuck the alien. Stolt can eat it out from behind while we're <laughs> while we're double teaming it. Stolt can work on our shafts and the alien's butthole. Well, yeah, that would that seems fair. Yeah, it seems and like a patron, shitty job. Patrons but get the first. Tell all about how it went. They get the uncut porno yeah. that we make. <laughs> yeah, God, that, I think that would be one of the. Uh, there has to be a YouTuber that does that first. Like a, a lot of female streamers, they go out and they they they'll make like a OnlyFans once they get an audience. But I want to see just like a dude YouTuber just get big and he's just like, I'm releasing a porno. Like here's a full ass. Professional like, grade porno like with an alien or just regular, just a regular one. Just that hype would it be up. awesome if yeah. someone did that. But usually, <laughs> when when people do it, you're like, you, they're that person. Like, uh, was it yeah. uh, like Adam Twenty Two? Like that guy that yeah, had the yeah. New, it's, like, it's like, duh. I, I see it. I want to see PewDiePie come you're, out with just like, yeah. here's my hardcore. I would love. I would like <laughs> imagine if porno. like Devin or. Aqua or someone like just released like hardcore porn. If Aqua released a hardcore porn, that would be fucking epic. His and his dick is like huge, and he just no like, no shoots his ropes. Men, if his mentality was completely animalistic and aggressive in bed, yeah. that would be hilarious because he's such a easygoing guy. Yeah, those are the ones you got to be careful for. <laughs> they don't, they don't, yeah, those are the real freak shows. Because like you look at Brian, not to once again the guy's not here. You look at him, you're like, this guy probably just is normal sexually. And then I hear you guys talk about jerking off, and I'm like, this guy must, this guy is probably a freak in the sheets. I, I'm, I'm scared for Mia. I'm fucking, I'm scared for her. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> she gets a look of fit, like, I uh, on the way to my hotel room, I had to, I dropped them off at their hotel room, and there's a look of fear as that door closes. Yeah. <laughs> Help Godfathers. <laughs> yeah. Help. Brian shuts the door. <laughs> oh, my pussy hurts. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he's... Yeah, I bet Brian's having a lot of hardcore sex. <laughs> what is this? Like, what are we... This is now what it's just talking about Brian while he's not here. With his Crocs on still. <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah gotta, I mean, surely. Yeah, yeah, gotta have the Crocs on. I... Every time we do one of these at 2 p.m., I'm like, I'm just like a dimwit, dude. I, I am so, it sucks. Like, I literally lay in bed at, at night awake, not able to sleep till like 6 a.m. I take melatonin. I, sm I smoke the ganja, but I just, I don't know. I you fucked up my schedule. Pre no. What I think hell? a lot. I think a lot about my mistakes. I think a lot about my dreams. You have idle hands. I do. You need to occupy that time with something. Mm, something. I should be. I should be thinking more, like eh, with my hands. No, thinking is exactly uh, what you don't want to do. 
I yeah, I try I've noticed to whenever go, I'm like, like not working on something, it, those are my worst days I've ever had because I immediately once I put down something I'm working on, uh, the self doubt seeps in and it's yeah. you suck. You what suck. am I going to be doing when I'm fifty? Am uh, I going to be able to retire one day? Well, that's why I bought a gun. Uh, yeah, you, I, yeah, I said I bought it for home defense. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody says that. I bought it for home defense. Got to defend my family. We know what we bought that gun yeah. for. The second for I my gave own defense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, when I'm when I have to go when work defeat, a real job. <laughs> when I defeat the final enemy yeah. <laughs> myself. Okay. That's what I, I bought that for. Pull out the resume, whoosh, blow off the dust, and then go, yeah. nah. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, you know what? Why would I just kill myself instead? Have you seen the That would be awesome? You know, it's always sunny when uh Mac and, and Charlie are they have that guy like reading through their resume. <laughs> His resume is so wait. So when they're sparse. trying to be Janet, like when yeah, they're I trying to work janitors. at the school, yeah. Okay. Two thousand five to two thousand six, odd jobs here and there, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Well, yeah. there, but mostly here." <laughs> that's yeah. how that's how like sparsely populated our resume is going to be. I think if uh, if we were smarter people, you could probably phrase it in like a really cool way i saw a long time ago there was a guy on twitter that it was a long time ago <laughs> he was like i did it i took my youtube channel and i worded it in such a way that i was able to get this job but it was also just in a shitty field he just went into marketing and i'm like half the people that are in marketing are just failed like instagram influencers half the time I'll believe you on that. Yeah. I don't know if that's there. Is there <laughs> is there really a truly a way out? Well, also I'm like kind of now wondering like who would I use as my reference? Like, we, like dude, hey, I got I've got have you to. as a reference or like what? What is that? We have to succeed. There I, is no there yeah. is no safety. There is net. no fail. Yeah, because it's like yeah, okay, guys, patrons, you guys have to keep paying for this shit because. I just realized, who am I going to use as my reference, okay? Because if I email my old professors and mm -hmm. go, cool, if I use you as a reference again, they're going to say, who the fuck is this? The who obvious th question, or the know? obvious answer is me, but do you yeah. want me as a reference? But also, it's like, when they call you and are like, what's your relationship to this? I met him like, on Rust. What? Yeah. <laughs> Have oh, you ever yeah. played Rust? He, he used to be real rotten. Yeah, he used to be real rotten. He's, He's a real piece of shit. now. Yeah. See, but... <laughs> He was so bad that that makes why he's reformed even more special. I think it's important yeah. to bring up how dark someone's past was yeah. so that you can see how much they've grown. Yeah. Okay. And bring up maybe it's like, and he fucking cares if not, someone's born Jesus and then they end up being Jesus. It's, it's like the classic Skyrim quote where it's like, is it better to be born good or is it better to be born evil and overcome that evil by being good or whatever. Is that Bioshock? That's not Skyrim, is oh, it? Oh, is it Bioshock? I thought it was that dragon. It was oh, like Parthen X or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I killed it could him. could also be like Viva Pity. <laughs> I killed him before evil. he yeah. even opened his fucking mouth. <laughs> is it better to. <laughs> I walked on top of that mountain. I said, that fucking head's going over my mantelpiece. Dragon meat. Dragon meat. <laughs> I can make penis potion spells with this. <laughs> penis growth potion. Yeah. Um. This is a. Uh, not a segue or I'm now segueing into I just got a text when we took our pee break mm -hmm. you know earlier I was like my brother broke his hand or something my dad just sent me a picture of him in the full cast you know in like my first thought this is so fucked up but I was like god that's cool like I you know like kids when you're I never broke a bone yeah. while I was in junior high or high school it's like one of those weird things where it's like you kind of want it to happen just so you've got the cast just so I can like bring it up and get some signatures. Yeah. And there's like, that movie. He's got that. I think and I'm mind like, or something where like the kid had the cast on the, the entire movie. And I was like, just like, Oh yeah. I, there was always, always that, that chick that like was on cheerleading and was always in a boot, you know? And it's like, are that's really not cool. This fucked up. <laughs> It's not as cool. But the boot is not cool. God, you know the what was forearm? cool about the boot? The forearm's cool. Forearm is definitely a lot cooler. Yeah. But the boot, those fuckers would always be like, hey, can I leave class a couple minutes early? Because it takes me so long 
it takes me longer. So like, I'm going to be tardy. And they, they just worked. Like teachers would be like, oh yeah, go ahead. And they'd be like, also, I can't carry my book. So that was like, that's like your friend wins the lottery and they fucking, they, they don't forget you type shit is if someone you knew got in the boot and they picked you as the guy mm. where it's like, can they carry my books for me? Cause you're thinking like, Oh, more work, but you get out of class five minutes early. Yeah. You get to be five minutes late and you're just like carrying their books for them. Really simple stuff. I always really wanted all my friends to break their legs and break their arms and shit so I could help them or for me to be I, crippled or something. I had a I kid didn't that have any was, exciting. He didn't injuries. have a broken bone or anything, but he had a broke he had broken blood. He he was uh or I guess Ew. a broken body of some sort. He was <laughs> he was a uh, diabetic and he had to go get no. his, his blood sugar checked all the time and I was like, I'll walk him to the <laughs> Casey because faints. If his blood sugar was low, I guess they would give him like you candy. Fucker. You would yeah, I, I, <laughs> and I would be like, went just for the fucking candy. I walked dude. him here, dude. I he wouldn't have made it here you unless would, like, I was here. The most stereotypical little and, like <laughs> cartoon like candy grubbing fat kid ever. And uh, uh, I, I was it. Bobby Hill. Yeah. yeah. I. Uh, anyways, I would walk this kid in, and uh, at first it was like she was giving it willingly, and then it quickly became like I was like strong arming her for candy. I was like, well, I know his blood sugar's fine, but we made the journey all the way over here. We've got a certain arrangement. Yeah, going I know. On. You, and then one time I went in there to get, I brought him up to get his blood sugar checked, and like the fucking guidance counselor, not the guidance counselor, but the the truancy officer was just standing in the in the room with us while they were doing the blood sugar. I was like, oh, the fucking jig's what the up. Hell's a truancy it's officer? It's just like the police <laughs> officer that's at the school. Oh, Like, weird. there was just a cop in there. Like a like a official hall yeah. monitor. <laughs> and I was like, and he, he knew. He was just like, you guys yeah. are in here strong-arming this lady for candy. And uh, he didn't say anything. I didn't say shit. I didn't try to get no candy or nothing. She was like, okay, blood sugar's fine. They, and then she's like, going back to class. And we're like, okay. And she never had a problem with us ever again because I was like, oh, you're going to rat to the fuzz, bitch. Dude, so I, I was, was such a, I was such a pusher. I was such a, I mean, I maintain to this day to be a little bit of, you know, a pussy. Okay, well, you are what you eat. Bang, shabam. But I was so afraid of getting in trouble in school that I don't think I got a tardy one time in high school uh, and really? like never got in trouble really. You know, I was more sneaky with it. Yeah. But like just the gall to try to strong arm the nurse, I'd probably like piss my pants <laughs> if I'm like, hey, can I have some of that candy? And they're like, no. And then if I were to be like, well, I'm really like, come <laughs> I on, walked bitch, like, all get, the way up here. Yeah. Give me yeah. like, I just didn't have it in me to do that second layer. And I remember one time, the only time I ever saw my vice principal for, it was like, she was only vice principal for like two years, kind of hot, kind of a hot vice principal, which was cool, but I just never saw her. And one time I remember I got called out to the hallway and I was like, I mean, I don't know why, cause I hadn't done anything, but I was pretty sure like it's over, you know, yeah. I just also like overreact. I'm like, they, you only see the vice principal when you really fucked up. And it was her inviting me to a special club. I've definitely talked about this before. And she just invited me to a club for like little goody two shoes that had like five people in it. And you had to be recommended by a student in it and a teacher. It's so my only time I ever interacted with her. We had one meeting and then we skied at Perfect North or something. We skied at some like Indiana or Ohio ski place. And that was the only thing we ever did. Like we never met and we're like what how are we gonna help the school or how are we gonna they just like made it seem like this big elite club and then they took us skiing one time for like two hours and then i guess it disbanded <laughs> and then that <laughs> vice principal got <clears throat> replaced and then it was no they longer blew the budget but for like <laughs> yeah. a month i was kind of like an elite member of this kind of like really exclusive club and when we went on that ski trip, it was probably like the most jealous people could be because it's like our school does not do shit like that. We don't go on cool trips. Yeah. I think it's just we had the budget to send like five kids on a cool field <laughs> and, trip. And, and they picked five. And they picked five probably yeah. at random. And we're yeah. like, sure, whatever, you're special. They probably Come on, kicked the smallest kids. 
save on gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would. Yeah, yeah, actually, it was just me and a bunch of shrinkies. And I'm like, what the? But yeah. yeah, it was a cool trip. I don't know where I was going with this story, but I felt really special. Well, and I miss on feeling the flip special. of that, since you got rewarded by your school, yeah, I I used to be part kind of, of hero, this but... after school program where they would, you know, because school gets out at like two thirty, and my mom worked till five, yeah, and yeah. so they would hold me after school I and hated it, those, and they would have like they would do stuff for us. They might give us like a little candy or something like that on Friday. Well, one time they were giving us the candy, and I sat there and said. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I I watched the lady pull it out, Uh-oh. and then I was like, "Hey, I'll help you put all that stuff away, just so I could see where she put it." <laughs> and uh, the 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 way this place was laid out was they had a in the cafeteria they had like a stage, and then behind the stage was a hallway, and uh, that's where most of the after school stuff was was like some classrooms back there and stuff, but. Uh, kind of like the stage hand area where you there was like a little staircase that went up to the the rear of the stage and stuff there was like these big tall cabinets and in those big tall cabinets they kept like the giant pixie sticks the big ass uh, sweet tarts that were like this big uh just like the like you, the Costco you, large size of I know every you lo- candy uh, I and know they it w- shaped you but Ed, you are like an Ed, Ed and Eddie <laughs> character dude you are <laughs> You are seriously like doing little heists for candy. <laughs> well, I I watched this lady bring all that stuff back there. I saw what cabinet she put it in, and then my brother at the time. It, this was in like the nineties, right? So like Jinkos were big. Christ, and you could fit like a pound of candy in each I didn't, pocket. I didn't have Jinkos, but I had some like jean shorts that basically went down to my fucking ankles. They were huge. God, I think they were disgusting. Pockets, dude. Pockets could hold all sorts of shit. I would, yeah, I, would, I remember what they were. They were the large fruit roll-ups that were just like the jumbo ones. Oh, yeah. And I would just get pockets of fruit roll-ups. And then we, at the time, they had the playground that, um, you ever been on the playgrounds that are just tires? They're old tires that they would like oh, nail yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> that's Dude, that's where I got my fucking scar, basically. It was like recycled rubber playground with a metal slide. And Fuck I tripped yeah. on one of their fucking tire rubber mats. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hit me right in the head. This was like, uh, it just looked, they, they didn't want to have like this. Did they have one of those horses made out of tires or no, whatever? They, they had like, a big pyramid. Thought of this? They had a big pyramid made out of tires and... Are this like are this like giving kids cancer or is that fine? I mean, they, did, I they didn't take any of the metal meshing out of the tires. So as they got worn down from kids playing on them for a decade, there would be kids that would fall on the pyramid and they would be like, "I have like <laughs> seventy lacerations down my arms because it's these like super. It's just uh. it's just like a bunch of like little wires." But anyways, we'd go on the far side of that hmm. and we would uh, because the teachers are so lazy, they're not going to walk all the way around it. We'd, we'd sit down there and we'd eat our fucking roll-ups. There was also a very large tractor tire that they buried halfway in the ground that you could get inside of, and some of the kids would go in there and piss. But mostly because they didn't want to walk all the way back to the... <laughs> like the grossest playground ever. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. There was, like, like the you, pissing like you tire. little hamsters <laughs> in a big teacher cage. Like, Christ. A teacher case, dude, uh, elementary school, after school program is like a fucking prison. Okay. We yeah. know when the guards are watching. We know like when they're. They we know when we can pee in our big <laughs> wheel, when we got to pretend to when, play. When we can eat our fruit roll ups. We also knew that like after X amount of time, they would want to see you because they knew who was there. So like I would yeah. take a couple bites of the fruit roll up, I'd put it in the tread of a tire, and then I would do like a little lap real quick. Like, oh, hey, boss. You see me real quick. Yeah. Go on back to the rear side of the the tire pyramid. <laughs> Eat some fruit roll ups, and then, uh, well, you know, that was basically my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was very. Yeah. And then when I got home, all I did was watch Ed and Nettie. So yeah, me being an Ed and Nettie type, like yeah, that was my fucking blueprints. Yeah. They were laid out to me on Ed and Nettie. I should have been watching something good like um, Mr. Rogers or whatever the hell you grew up on. What'd you watch? Uh, do I watch cars? I watch this. Show. I mean, that's why I love, you know, I watch more like stuff with a little more nuance, like Tom and Jerry mm-hmm. or Looney Tunes Babies. Are you or a big stuff in, like Invader that. Zim fan? 
Uh, I wasn't, but I, it's like, I didn't have anything against it, but I know people like my friend Isaac, I think was like a really big Vader Zim fan. He'd let you know. I wasn't really, I really, you know, I don't know if I have like a, I just watched like what was on basically. I wasn't picky. I wasn't able to watch Disney channel, which was just like, uh, be, I've talked about it because my dad didn't like the shows on it. So I was like, don't watch that. Those are dumb. Yeah. Um, I watch a lot of like Codename Kids Next Door. That was an Courage. awesome show. Yeah, Samurai Jack. Who was your gotcha. which of the Codename Kids Next Doors did you align with? I was a number um, two guy myself. Is number three the fat one with the hat? I thought number two was a fat one with a hat. I'm oh, sorry, okay. I'm fat guy with a no, hat. No, you, that's no, you. Yeah, no, that's who I was gonna yeah. say you were. Yeah. <laughs> That's but he what probably I like. is number two. Yeah, I think that's I number two. Uh, let me see. Which <laughs> one's the... Is that number... Whichever one in the four? intro, he's eating like a fucking hot dog with like spray cheese on it or something. It's like a chili dog or something. Who's like the kid in the like Kenny hoodie? I don't know. Okay, I, don't, cool. I don't remember any of their numbers. I remember number one was... He's just the bald kid that nobody liked. Yeah. Like the... I don't know how they fuck it up, but like every show where there's like a leader, it's always the least cool guy. Dude, it's because it's the it's the responsibility of the leader. Okay, you, can, you can't be the the cool leader all the time. You know, you yeah. Sometimes you have to be the what's his name like Michelangelo of the group, or or the number one or yeah. the what have you, the Cyclops of the group. You know, where it's like. It's not fun all the time, but it's because they're Cyclops. Um, I watch a lot of Teen Titans Go, and oh, <laughs> and Robin. Robin is, is the leader. A fun leader. <laughs> no, he's not. They make well, fun Cyclops, of him. Cyclops, you know, the more stuff. Time. Yeah. Well, there's another example: yeah. the Teen Titans Go <laughs> version of Robin. Yeah. That show. I used to watch Teen Titans, and yep. then I was like, so, "This is this is a cool show." And then Teen Titans Go came out, and I was like, "This is lame." And then I've had to watch it a lot. Because my kids love it. Yeah. It's grown on me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when my, when my little siblings would watch it, I thought it was funny. Yeah. I, I was like, eh, I'm okay with this. Uh, even though I really like the original, I didn't get people. I get why people are like, why can't we just have more of the original? You know, and they're mad about it. It's hard to but make. I, as its own, <laughs> yeah, just standalone show. I'm like, I really don't think this is doing a lot of harm yeah go watch young what's it, young justice or whatever okay i can't find that why can't i find the numbers to the oh the fat one is number two <laughs> okay and yeah. the, okay yeah number two rocks but i always <laughs> like by the way when i had that story about me wanting to get into robotics and build a battle bot and i couldn't figure it out because i I was just like putting pieces of metal together. I didn't realize yeah. you needed robotics. Uh, Part of that was it inspired. Should just, it should just work by you putting a bunch of shit together and the then putting a battery you put on it. A hinge connecting two yeah. things. They should fucking be able to flap around and, and do their own thing. And if it gets hit by lightning or connected to a battery, it should be alive or yeah. not alive, but Sentience. it should be fully functional. Yeah. I work on lightning for sentience. Sentience. What is with my <laughs> pronunciation today, man? What the hell? I don't know. But sorry, go on. It, You're yeah, a stupid I, little I kid was, that couldn't work a robot. I, my You're mind saying. was molded by Toy Story. I watched Sid, and I was like, oh. my hero, Sid. Okay, he's he's taking apart the toys. He's putting them back together. He's making all sorts of crazy stuff. It's still I do working. Think that stuff is cool. And then uh, hybrid toys. Code name Kids Next Door. The two by four technology. Yeah. You know, they were just. Slapping shit together is working. Yeah. I mean, you know? that's why they're, that's why kids love that shit. Cause you're yeah. like, I follow yeah. and I, I could do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, every, I, every kid goes through a stint where they're a like, flying I'm machine made out of two by fours. Yeah. That'll I'm work. I'm going to build like a real fort with a, some hammers, some nails, and some wood. And then you just like build something that's completely unusable or, you know, I, I, it's just like a cool thing. I don't know. We've talked about this before too. Like when you're a kid, like, Little components are cool, and the tools and stuff. They're cool now. I mean, I, they are I cool now that I'm an adult. Before, but it is very important that I, and I had a friend. Kind of retail stories all the time anyway, yeah, so. Who fucking cares? Yeah. I, we, I wanted to build a fort in my backyard, but it was going to be like an underground type thing. And so I is called. Is this about the. Sorry. No, I, I, I called in my friend down the road. 
And I was like, Chris, come on over here. We're going to build a, we're going to dig like a big trench thing. This was after the guys, I had gone over to Gavin's house and he had that awesome red clay tunnel that he had dug oh. that I told you about last time. But anyways, uh, for some reason I called him up and I was like, you need to come over. We're going to do that at my place. His mom loads him up with a, just a full ass shovel and he's completely fine. She's like, okay, whatever you need a shovel. Let's yeah. go. Drives him over to my house. My mom's like, why did you bring your son over here with a big shovel? We went in the backyard and we just dug like just the most meaningless. Destroyed the law. A hole. Yeah, yeah, it's just a hole. It wasn't even a hole with like straight walls. Like uh, I'm trying a, to. You're just a dumb kid. Dude. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's that movie California with Brad Pitt in it. And he's like a little inbred guy. And he kills his boss. And he's like, I'm going to go out. It, you think he's going to go bury his boss, like dig a grave. And then the next morning it shows them leaving and like the camera is on like a crane and it like looks up over his house. And what he did was he dug like he spent way too much time just digging like this upside down funnel. Like it's just a cone down and they put the body at the bottom of it. <laughs> but it would just be much, much like less wasted energy if he just dug straight down and did like a grave. But instead it was just like a like a dog burying a bone yeah. or something, you know. And that's like the level of excavation we did in the backyard. My mom's like, you just tore up like 13 feet of grass and did no, yeah. like we didn't go any further down than like 10 inches. It's one of those things too where like when your mom says that, you're like, whatever. It's yeah. just grass. And then Shut as up. an adult, you're like, Ugh. I would yeah, pay. that would really suck. I would pay hundreds to get some fucking grass in this yard, all right? Yeah. The grass Ugh. is super important to me. Well, yeah, I know we've... <laughs> I know I had a little slip up where I used grass killer on my yard, and it's that kept kind me of been awake slow to recover. When you told me that, I would call you sometimes. Yeah, like, as an adult, I looked at <laughs> my lawn every day with my coffee, and I went, "Fuck, it sucks." <laughs> I really wish I hadn't done that. Is it? And recovered? I can appreciate that. It's it's recovered pretty well. Honestly, I'm gonna be totally Are there real. Scars. <laughs> can you I don't tell know if I've happened? left the house in like weeks. I don't know if I honestly don't know what my front yard looks like right now. So. It's probably reco it's also like winter somewhat. It's beautiful today, but I'm gonna oh, yeah, miss it. It is, yeah. Right there. It's uh even in the middle of January, it's nice and green outside here, so Yeah, with your disgusting flora that's just all spikely and <sighs> Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. spikelies out there. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of little uh, <laughs> vines and stuff. Yeah. I I hate Florida like plants. I don't know. I just don't like... Dude, you're like, preaching to the choir, right? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think anyone that lives in Florida does I'm either. I'm not taking like a... Some yeah. people get taken aback like, you don't like palm fronds? No, <laughs> I don't like palm fronds. All this shit... Yeah. I will leave it in an instant. The second I can go north and run away from my... Pro Actually, I'm going to go west. I'm going to move out to Austin. Okay, after go I northwest. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go out to one I'm range Mexico. day. Mexico. <laughs> and then I'm going to move out yeah. to Austin. Yeah. And yeah, and then we're gonna have Forehead Fables content creation house and Forehead Austin, Fables Texas. meets Black Rifle Coffee Company, <laughs> and we're gonna I will literally for the right price change everything I stand for, and I yeah, I, it's I, gotta I, have at least two zeros though in it. I'm gonna need to see some O's if I'm gonna be changing my the way my family looks at me. I'll, I mean. What? Oh my god. I've got eight messages from one person. Is it your wife? No. <laughs> Is it my wife? Oh my god. No. Uh, Do you think you're ever gonna get married? Is that in your cards? Oh man, I thought we were having like a chill cash. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I think. Oh, am uh, I like that, your mom? <laughs> no. I think when are you gonna get married? Yeah. When do I when am I, I gonna, gonna get, get some grandkids? grandkids? Yeah. Um I think I've always been really slow to all relationship milestones, but I think uh, I think I'll get married one day. I see it. I also like. There's always this part of me. It only really comes out when I smoke weed. But where I look at my grandma, that's just like not married and just sits at her house and watches TV. And I got goddamn, I love this bitch. <laughs> and she's got good TV shows. Honestly, for grandma, she she's put me on a lot of shows. Uh, but I, I also like sometimes look at her life and I go, that's not bad. Some, this somehow feels likely for me. 
Mm. I feel like I'm going to just have like my chair and my TV and pip number three one day. And I'm just going to be like, just kind of open mouth watching TV. Yeah. Uh, But I don't know. I'd like to, you know, I'm not going to count myself out this early in life. I'm horrified at the concept of being alone. So I don't, I think marriage was always in my, in my, my cards. I don't, I don't love being alone, but I don't do poorly in it. You know what I do really miss? Like I miss going out with, I feel like it's just been a while since I've gone out to like the bars. Like when's my last like bar store? And this is not like a, I need my alcohol. It's like, uh, I just miss. The social element. The social element. I feel like this entire year I've just been becoming more of a homebody and it's nice in some regards. Like I'm getting some stuff that I don't feel like when I wake up at, you know, like 3 p.m. I don't, I don't I'm not like, oh, like I'm hungover as shit. And I, I just kind of miss, it's like weird too. I even miss like, I just haven't been drinking as much. And last time I did a drinking stream, it's, it's just like everything comes so natural. Like everything's so easy when you're drunk. Uh, yeah, like, you sound like my mom. I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. All this the is, words. Like, these are the words of an <laughs> alcoholic, but like, I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm not like, it sucks too, because I'm not like a bad alcoholic where I'm like getting arguments with people. And it's like everyone likes me more when I'm drunk. Yeah. I can and, barely tolerate you when you're sober for sure. I know. Yeah. And it's like, I just have a more positive outlook. Well, don't Everything's worry. Everything's a lot more short sighted. When you come over, I'm, I'm, of a fridge full shooters lined up uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. before you I'm meet the be kids for that yeah <laughs> uh, it's gonna be like in true detective when russ cole meets <coughs> marty's family yeah he's just like uh, hammered is Put that gonna be coffee a, on. that's gonna be a nightmare scenario for you i'm gonna make sure that we have like a formal dining experience where it's just and i'm you, drunk or so you sitting there you don't understand, With though. That's family. what I'm saying. If I were hammered, I'd be, like, probably more comfortable in that situation. No, there's not going to be a drop in this um, house. And we're going to have... Fine we're also. N- I'm not going to... I'm going to shut down any conversation you have, so it's just going to be quiet oh, okay. at the dinner table. Just Abby's going to... stately... Abby's going to bring up, like, I heard you call me a bitch on the podcast <laughs> one time. <laughs> it's just super quiet. I don't jump yeah. in for defense or anything. Be like... You never do, yeah. I'll just be like, "Oh shit, uh, okay." Uh, what was it? What was that about, Poob? Jeez, uh, I'm on her well, side. I was probably not drinking, so <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That was sober me. Uh, I gotta apologize for him. Actually, much more natural drunk. No, I, I just, yeah, I miss it. I miss going out with buddies and stuff. Also, like no one here does that. I just am like smoking more, which is. Do you think makes me? like stupid do you fear that as your 20s go on Uh it's going to be the bar scene is going to become different because you're you're not going to blend in as much Um, i I think you just go to different bars is it just different bars i I feel like there's i I already don't go to the same bars i did in college you know i i already feel like if i went to a college bar i'd be like I mean, if I get drunk enough, I'm gonna have a great time. But are there you know, bars like, for like just like thirty year old people, like young professional bars? Yeah, it's called like a fucking probably IPA tavern or some yeah. shit. Like I don't yeah, know, I, I I'm not those, like a bar guy, so I don't. No, yeah, there's definitely bars. I even saw like a pretty sad review the other day where it's sa- only sad because I was like, hmm, that sounds pretty good, but it was like experience this bar in India. It's like it's like. For people that are a couple of years out of college and like you can't deal with that scene anymore, like can't deal with all the noise, but it, but it's not like your grandfather's bar. So I was like, oh, that, <laughs> and then I'm like, what the fuck? Am I like, is this this is marketed directly for me where it's some weird like middle ground bar yeah. where they're like, yeah, you might see a chick twerk, but it's gonna be it's gonna be open till like midnight. It's not gonna be open till 4 a.m. Yeah, it's not gonna close so too early. It just felt like, yeah, I guess this is the bar I would go to now. <laughs> like, I think you just kind of get pushed into... There's a lot of, like, millennial bars around here where I could... I'd probably just look... You know, I'd smooch my way into there more. Yeah. I don't like... I think, though, it's, like, classic, like... 
when we talk about playing a co-op game like oh you could you could watch paint dry with your friend if i'm at any bar with my friends it's probably i don't care what really what the crowd's like yeah i'm gonna have a good time just well that's why i wanted out. to i did want to go to that ice bar in vegas that place was really fun yeah but you guys had already gone to it, so the experience was there. But like, I well, but and it was experience. so fucking hot. I like dropped it like yeah. five times. I was like, ice bars right there, so icy in there. It was it would have been more fun with more people? But Amid and I had a great time. Wow, shocker, because we were hammered. But yeah. we were like the only two patrons in it. There was another group that left after a while because we kept going like free. Like we had the couple of free drink things for buying the like vip so we could wear the big coats you know yeah. you get like i'll take a spike hot chocolate and then we just kept pounding those and then we danced just like us two because the floor is icy a little bit so you can like you know you it's can slide like, around how expensive do you think it is to just run a bar that is completely <laughs> it's probably ice. why it's like in 70 dollars to go in, the in desert, there yeah ice yeah bar. it's very unnatural about that place <laughs> It was really fun. Like, we just danced like nobody was watching for a couple hours. But if you and Devin had been there, you know, it would have been probably the like, same thing. Get Brian in there. Get Stolten there. Oh, Brian we could probably his, go, like, 20 deep. Are you kidding yeah. me? Brian might slip and die in there. In his, crocs. <laughs> his feet would probably freeze off, too. <laughs> too it, well, I do remember being in there at a point being like, wow, it's, yeah, it's quite cold. It is, uh, they know what they're doing because the seats are ice. And they put, like, a... <laughs> A big bear fur over the seat. You kind of just feel like I don't know. Wait, is it all like constructed out of ice? What if yeah, the power like goes the out? The table, the tables are ice, and what's I the, don't know. They, what if the power they, goes out? They just rebuild it or something. I, <laughs> I don't know how it works. I mean, what? I could be being tricked too. It might just be like this much ice over a mold or something. Oh yeah, um, like a epoxy table, and they just spray it yeah. with some water. That's actually probably that's, that's probably a hundred percent exactly what they do. Yeah, but. I'll never believe that. And they had like a TV in there and stuff, like behind an ice wall. It was cool. Hmm. But you'll never get to see it. <laughs> Maybe they have one in San Diego and we can go at next, next TwitchCon. Time. Next time. I'm so excited about TwitchCon being back in San Diego. That's going to be just the weather. It's just perfect. You know, I've been missing those scooters so much. Just cranking those hogs. Wind in the hair. Yeah, flying down them roads. Smiling and waving at people. Uh, yeah. Got a fucking J resting on the handlebar. Yeah. That's, that place Smoking was Smoking ganja, yeah. drinking beer, driving. <laughs> driving a scooter around. I mean, crashing. Like, is out. that is that like a... like a? It is it, a DUI. Is that yeah. illegal to smoke, a, yeah. to smoke a J and ride a scooter? Well, I don't know. Weed's from the earth, so... Yeah. Probably. I mean, I it, it's not like I have a guest on the on the little scooter. Yeah, but I think it's like. But okay, what about know. a bicycle? What about smoking a J and, and riding a bicycle? At what I point is it I a motor know. vehicle? If Probably it's, when there's a motor. When on it's it, self propelled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that scooter but, is like edging the line. Like if I get a DUI yeah. on that thing, I'd be absolutely baffled. Well, if the cop shows up, you just got to start foot pushing it and be like, there's no motor <laughs> yeah. in there. But also, it's like, isn't it still like public? And like, I don't really get how it works with weed in legal states. Like, I don't know if you're yeah. allowed to just like. That's why you break the law and then you claim ignorance. That's that's how I've uh, lived so my you're entire up life. Pre excuse, yeah, you know, for already with the law. Yeah, I go, officer. Before you arrest me, you have to understand a couple of pre excuses. I'm very stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about the law. And if and you were I'm riding high around, right now, so. <laughs> if you were riding yeah. around a scooter at 3 a.m. Yeah. And the streets were empty. Wouldn't you want to fucking spark one up? The perfect <laughs> yeah. streets for it. They have the perfect alleys. Yeah. It's, like, what else would you want to be doing? You're going to do that shit sober at three in the morning. Are you insane? Yeah. I no. can't even like hang out with my family sober. So even, you think I'm going to what? Right. What am I going to get out of bed? Go to a job sober? No, that's not why I'm in San Diego. Okay. I'm here for the food, the weed, the weather. I've been hankering for one of those California burritos. Did you have one of those from that? It was like a burrito place right around the corner from, from Bizzles. Is it like a two-story place or something? It was like upstairs or no? I, honestly, I don't remember. I just remember going. 
Too much weed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All I remember is having Eating beef in that burrito. Yeah. Beef I do and remember lots a lot of, of cheese and shit. There's a lot yeah. of good food. And then there's some places where you're like, this is a tourist trap, and I've fallen right, right, right into, into it. it. Yeah. I'm okay with that, though. As long as we're not on, like, Dick's l- last resort level. Margarita tourist Ville trap. Margar- <laughs> Dude, yeah. We did eat. <laughs> Devin and I and Will ate at a goddamn Margaritaville in Vegas. And we're like, is there great you, food ever? I bet you Devin, was he the one that suggested it? It was, I think it was actually Will. Oh, and okay. Devin and I both were like, I guess okay. I could eat him. I figured like, Devin would be like, there's a Margaritaville right there. Well, but him hey, and Will yeah. like grew up in the same place. So they're, you know, it's like, oh, a little taste of home. And I remember the water tastes like poison in there. All of us were like, oh, what? like the water had a taste, which is never good. Yeah. And then the food was just awful. And it was like $40. Uh, but it was, you know, you get that Margaritaville. You don't pay for the food or the water. You pay for the atmosphere. And it was very hot. Like mm. it should be <laughs> like a beach. Like you're in the desert in Wait, a beach. Inside the place was hot? In Vegas? It, w- it was like That's open horrible. air. It uh. was like. Just, like, the street was wait, and they had those women out front that are like, "Hey, bitch, you want a picture with me?" Like, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Those yeah, scary yeah, women yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, they were like, "Hey, hey, boy, like, do you want a picture with us?" No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Like, they made me just uncomfortable because I, I feel like I very easily get roped into being like, "Take the picture now." You owe me forty bucks. Like, yeah, I'm a it's, sucker it's for that kind of dismissive stuff. Dismissive to be like. No. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. You're really you're really good at that shit though, I think. You're you're very good at just being like I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you're good maybe at I feel no... it more in here, yeah. but when I do it, it uh it doesn't feel good. I don't oh, like being okay. that guy, but uh, it seems like it comes it very seems naturally. Like I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems like you get off act. on it almost. It's an act. Uh but yeah. I secret I do relish it a little bit. <laughs> you know, especially if like, they look like they're happy to hand you something and you go, "Eh, I'm good." I think it's like a necessity like fatherhood thing too cuz I, I feel like my dad I had to watch him fight it for a while and then now it's like that guy, you know, he just tell like a nun to like up yours, bitch. If she like anyone that's offering anything, it's just like, "No." Yeah. No. And they're like, "Are you sure?" No. I said no. And me it's like I go to a a target and they're like hey we got new cell phones I'm like no thank you and they're like well you really are gonna want to hear this and i'm like fuck like no i don't i have don't have a door to door salesman have you had to close the door Dude, something uh, like that yet we've got a no soliciting sign and yeah i still have people that are like we're here to well i've told you about how i got you know in a long line of like suckers getting suckered when i uh i gave that guy like a hundred dollar bill because he was like Hey, we're selling candy so that we can send a bunch of kids to a church camp. And I'm like, this guy's like out of his mind right now. Yeah. He's, he, he had just a box of Reese's cups that were like torn apart. And he's just like fucked up. But I was, you know, I'm like, whatever. This guy just wants some money for whatever, you know, money for drugs, whatever. Like, hey, man, been there. Not probably on this level, but, you know, I can relate a little. Yeah. I smoked a little bit of weed in my day, man. And I told him, I'm like, yeah, man, I've got like five bucks I can give you. And I opened up my wallet, and all I had was a hundred dollar bill. And I opened it up in front of him, and it's like, at that point he in my head, it. Oh, <laughs> at that point, it's like I can't say I don't have any money. And what a real man with a spine would do is just yeah. go. I'm not sorry. giving you a hundred bucks. Yeah, sorry. You're Turns insane. out I don't yeah. have what you're looking for. But I was like, uh oh. <laughs> and then I and then I rationalized it to myself, thinking well, I'm gonna get like. 10 Reese's cups and that's like probably like $50 maybe. So like cutting it a little and then I gave it to him and he's like, thanks. And just left no chocolate. And he didn't give you any Reese's. I, I don't know how you don't remember this. Yeah. I definitely talked about part two. He came back like two months ago and I heard him on my, I had installed a ring by then and he's like talking. I listened to this afterwards, but he's talking to the guys with. He's like, "Yeah, this guy gave me like fifty bucks last time. Didn't even remember I gave him a hundred. Like, this guy gave me like fifty bucks. Like, come on, hurry up, bitch! Like, where is he? Like, he's like getting impatient that I haven't come to the door after a doorbell rang. Yeah. And I come out there and they're like, "Hello, sir. We are offering." And now he's got a friend that's like looks even more fucked up than him. And I'm like, 
you know, once is enough. And I'm like, sorry, you know, I, like, I really want to battle that day. I was like, sorry, guys, I don't have it. And they're like pissed off. And I just wanted to be like, you ungrateful fucking asshole. Hey, bitch, remember when I changed your life when I gave you that hundred? My remember grandfather used to give out money minutes? to homeless people a lot. But then oh, yeah. there, were, there was like one guy that was like. These guys aren't homeless, but. There, that guy gave me money. And so he <laughs> would bump into them. Like it was like he was following them, you know. And yeah. uh, it's kind of odd. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't like my grandpa like- getting followed around. But this I guy. think it's I think it's good like in our job to and this is not a like like I think of myself as a crowdfunded person kind of like that's you know just subscriptions and shit so it's like when I see a panhandler or something I always feel a little like I'm kind of just like an internet panhandler You're a patron now yeah 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 I'm a he yeah. hello sir I'm a patron what can I get and he spits in my fucking face I go well that's kind of what we do too so <laughs> I guess I get it. This is the circle of the way yeah. things are. Have a good day. You and know what's funny is I'm more inclined to give to a homeless person that isn't in my neighborhood. If I see them in my neighborhood, I'm like, I do, I do not want to <laughs> I encourage don't want to run this. back into you. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to encourage okay. this by any means. If I run into someone that's out and about. Encourage, I don't want to encourage you. They're encroaching homeless. on my fucking yeah. territory. Yeah. Don't come in my fucking neighborhood with your homelessness. You keep that shit over there, there. in the city, you know. Okay. I'll mm-hmm. throw money at you then, but in my neighborhood, no, you get shot. Yeah, <laughs> or something. Or screamed at is the equivalent for me. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you, you get out of here, get out of here. Or sometimes I, I I go really fast in my car and then I screech the brakes so it looks like I'm gonna hit them, but all they gets like a bumper. The bumper just comes in really close and stops, <laughs> and then I honk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. <laughs> Until until eventually they wander <laughs> off. Yeah. I, have you ever given a homeless guy like food though, and they're like, "Fuck off." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It makes me want to give him a wedgie. I <laughs> right, right. I used yeah. to do like yeah. groundskeeping and maintenance at these apartment buildings, and there was a lot I of homeless recall. a lot of homeless people down there. And this one time, I saw a homeless guy get gifted a box of Chinese food that was fresh from the place. Like it was a takeout box, <laughs> <laughs> and he just put it on the thing on the like on the ground as like. I was like cleaning up stuff. I was like, "Do you want me to take that?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure." And so uh, it got gifted to him. It sat in his hands for three it. minutes, and then I put it into a garbage can. Yeah, he was like, yep. "I'm, but I don't want that shit." I, if he had given me some oxy, I would have taken that. But yeah. a box of Chinese food? No way. This guy's yeah. just make it look bad for the people out there that are really like uh, hungry. I've also like, seen uh, an ice uh, cream man in an ice cream truck offer a homeless person ice cream. They walked up thinking it was a donation and then turned around and walked away when they saw it was ice cream. They're like, I'm Figures good. Figures cannot be choosers, the, okay? How much of a drug problem do you have where you'll turn down an ice cream cone in August? A free ice cream cone. In Florida heat? In Florida. Yeah, that's this insane. person was sitting basically, it looked like, it was like 100 degrees outside. That person won't take an ice cream cone? Death. Yeah. <laughs> no No free ice cream? <laughs> really? Dead. You're dead to they me. They could even like... They're probably diabetic on, or like, something, and they're like, yeah. I can't have that. <laughs> that will fuck me. That will kill me. Uh, there's no free health care here. You. I can't have that ice cream shit. You, need, you ungrateful bastard, you eat this. <laughs> like, but yeah, why aren't they thinking like, you know what, I'll carry this over to our camp, and maybe another guy yeah. wants it. Or maybe they could sell that ice cream cone. Yeah. Yeah, you that's know? why they're not they, thinking money-wise. Homeless money people wise. need to be more like venture capitalists. They, they need, need to, to be grinding. Wheeling and dealing. They need to watch more Ed, Ed and Eddie. That's How what they I need. I trade this ice cream to a burger guy for a burger? I trade yeah. that burger for a burrito. A hungry... And so on and so forth until opioid you're a dealer. CEO. Yeah. And bingo. And then until... Yeah, yeah. I'll give you this burrito for some crack. Yeah. Bam. No, you make your way right. up to CEO and then you trade CEO position, position for some yeah. boxy... Lifetime supply... <laughs> One big bottle of whatever drugs with the skull and crossbones. Yeah. I don't even know what homeless people are into these days. Like, I don't even know what kind of drugs they're taking or... Have you heard of Trank? Is that... It's making people, like... Yeah, where they're, like, standing up and just bent over. Is that what's happening in Philadelphia? <laughs> it's like I think it's in, like, Pittsburgh. It's called oh. Kensington or something is, is the name of the block. It's, like, their skid row or something. 
in Pittsburgh, and it's. Well, I uh, hope it happens to the Pittsburgh Steelers, losers. I hope they all get hooked on drink. Yeah. The, apparently, no, I, they just say they like stand up and get high because if they lay down, I think they just fall asleep and they don't experience the high. But if you stand up, then you're then you do I stay thought, conscious. Well, I, I, I like that that there's new elements. Yeah, after. that's why they're like. I was wondering why you always see them like hunched over. Yeah, because if they lay yeah. down, then they take it and they just go. And if they, they fall lay asleep. down, they can't ever get back up. Yeah, they, I've I've heard that there's stories where they give them like adrenaline or Narcan or something like that. When they think that they're ODing and the person comes to and they're pissed off because you ruined their high. Oh. Like, God damn it. I was in the, I was in the middle of it. <laughs> I wonder what they're experiencing. It has like, to be when, awesome. When there's when they're standing there frozen in the street mm-hmm. and people are like taking those videos for like, hey, like, what the hell are you doing? What is going on? It's got to be awesome. It has like, to be. It, it has to be awesome. It's pro- <laughs> they're like, they're like, we need to play Mario Kart in <laughs> real life and shit. Like. It's got to be everything you've ever dreamed of coming true at all at once. Do you think it's a one, like, they just do it once a day, or do you think it's, like, a constant? It's probably, like, you do it once, and you're like, that was so fun and so liberating. That's my <laughs> one a and Just a great done. time. Yeah. No, I'm going to take it all the time. Mm-hmm. I need more right now. Well, I didn't know if, it, do you think they wake up, and they just, I'm going on down to the mm-hmm. my tranking spot where I they stand I think they wake there. up, and they go, ah. And then they crawl out of whatever trash can they slept in. And then they take whatever it is to trank their, their nerves. It is 5'11", yeah. and my fucking penis no. is about to explode. I have to piss so bad, oh, dude. I have to have sex with my wife. I'm like, I'm like bouncing over here. I have to yeah. piss so bad. I have to piss pretty bad, too, but yeah. I've trained it. Oh, I have not. I'm hurting. I drank okay, that so Celsius, and it's going right through me. All right. And, uh, guys, thanks for... Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. We're doing we're doing a new initiative, guys. Where no, we're not. 